Hello and welcome. This is Dhruvi Parikh and you are watching It's Tomorrow News. Severe warning as polar vortex collapses plunging Europe. Temperatures start dropping in North India. BBC weather has warned of more severe conditions to swamp Europe as the continent has battled heavy snow and rainfall in the past week with vicious flooding in Venice. Temperatures will stay on the chilly side with the shores continuing to stick around into next week. It comes as severe weather European Union have claimed the polar vortex is set to collapse by the end of the year which create acute winter conditions and can lead to extreme weather. The central area of the Mediterranean is looking to have some more severe weather. Also it stays really cold with further weather systems plunging more rain and hill snow. Strong winds will continue to push that water and those winds that rain northwards. Heavy snowfall is expected once again across the alpine regions. To the east of that temperatures are well above average. Rainfall of more than 20 mm could spark flash floods as well, with the potential for tornadoes to strike countries across the Mediterranean this weekend. The freezing conditions could even unleash up to 75 cm of snow across the Alps this weekend. Hundreds of thousands of people in southeast France have been left without power while one driver was killed by a fallen tree. Cars and trucks have been left abandoned in the snow while several of others' roads have been shut down completely. The Western Europe weather system strongly enhances the severe threat for dangerous storms according to the forecast. In the United Kingdom, snow has already blanketed walls, Gloucestershire and Exmoor this week. Temperatures dropped to their lowest of the autumn so far last night with a frosty minus 8.1 Celsius in Dalwini, Scotland. More than 100 floods warnings are still in place across England. The total number of homes evacuated in the past week due to the widespread floods rose to more than 1,200. Hundreds of people fled for their lives yesterday as downpours continue to batter Britain. The Midlands was among the worst heat areas as days of heavy rain caused mayhem. Families including young children were rescued from cars and escaped their homes in boats. Herefordshire and Worcestershire Fire and Rescue Service saved more than 100 people and a dog in dozens of incidents where cars had become deluged. Entire villages remained submerged and emergency services had to call in extra staff. Six people and a dog were also rescued by boat during two separate operations in Avesham Wasis as the river Avon burst its banks. Ten people tramped overnight in eight vehicles were saved while a baby locked in a car was rescued by firefighters in Kidderminster. Around 50 schools closed and hospitals in Avesham were shut to new admissions and outpatients clinics were cancelled. Flood barriers were erected in Upton upon Severn, Wasis, and Stafford upon Avon Walks. More than 250 flood warnings and alerts were in place across most of England and parts of Wales. The National Capital Territory of Delhi in India recorded the lowest minimum of 11.7 degrees Celsius for the season so far on November 12. Soon after observing its first coldest, the temperature started rising as successive western disturbances were seen approaching the Himalaya region. The winds also changed the direction to easter lines leading to a continuous rise so much so that the temperatures reached the above normal mark in the last two to three days. Now as the western disturbances has moved away, the flow of icy cold winds from the snow-clad mountains of the western Himalayas has resumed over the northern plains. As a result, the temperatures are again following a declining trend. Today, Suffragan Observatory recorded a minimum of 15.3 degrees Celsius. Not only Delhi, but many other in northwest India such as Punjab, Haryana and North Rajasthan are recording low minimum now. According to meteorologist, no significant western disturbances is likely to approach the western Himalayas. Although a system is expected to develop around November 21, it would be a feeble one and would not bring much difference. Thus, temperatures are expected to drop further during the next two to three days. And it is safe to say that winters would make an onset over the northern plains by the end of this week. Winter chill would also be felt during morning and evening hours. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Dhruvi Parikh. For more weather updates like this, please subscribe our channel.